Hello crafty friends, this is card number 20 in full deck challenge 2. The prompts are purple, stars, metallic, marker or pen. For the colour purple I'm going to be using my brusho and my colour burst powders. For the stars I'm going to cheat and use a template to cut them out. I'm not good at drawing them freehand. For my metallic I'm using silver leaf. And then I have my Posca pens or fine liners as my marker or pen and I will decide later which ones I'm going to use and how I'm going to use them. To start off with I'm going to cover the face of the card with some white tissue paper. I'm first scrumpling the tissue paper in my hand just to give it a little bit of texture to create some creases and then I'm adding it with some Mod Podge. You could also use craft glue or gel medium and then I will also apply a layer of Mod Podge over the top. This is just to waterproof it and I'm going to be adding some liquid colour medium. Once it's nice and dry, I'm going to trim off the excess. You could use the scissors, but I'm just going to tear it. I want to have a rough edge that it's slightly overhanging. This is just a personal preference. And now we're going to start by adding the colour. So I sprinkle a little bit of the brush or powder on and then I spray the water. And I just let the colour move around. I've also now added some of the colour burst. I instantly see that the colour burst is a lot more intense and more of a, I would call it a sweeter purple than the brusher, but they are very, very similar. I'm also using some index cards just to dab up any of the excess ink, which I can use later for another project. I'm going to put a few layers of the colour, but I'm going to dry each one in between so that the colour can build and intensify. It's never too late to join in my full deck challenge. Although this is full deck challenge number two, you can also do the first one at any time. I'll put a link to both playlists in the description box below. Also, if you're on Facebook, do look up my group. Just search full deck challenge group. I'm now going to move on to the stars, which will be my focal points. I've cut out my template and then I'm going to just trace them onto the paper that I want. On the other side of this paper, it's black with some text printed on which I want to use so I'm just doing this on the back side and I'm going to just do a couple of stars maybe three and I'll just see how it looks when I put it all together. The background is quite dark as are the stars which are mainly black so I'm going to lighten the background a little bit by adding my metallic which is my silver leaf. I just put a little bit of glue stick down and then just rub the silver leaf on top until it is in Sort of a area that I want that's going to sort of pop up from underneath the stars. And then to lighten the stars a bit so they stand more in the foreground, I'm going to do some kind of a shadowing or a border with a white acrylic marker just around the edge of the stars. I'm not going to start placing them onto my card just to see their placement and how I'm going to do this. I'm going to stick the largest one down first. That one's going to go flat onto the card. And then the other two I want slightly raised so they're coming sort of off the card. What I'm going to do is, although I applied glue here first, I'm just going to actually take it off. And I want to apply a small piece of folded paper underneath just to give it a little bit of a lift. I unfortunately don't have any of that puffy double-sided tape or any kind of glue dot. So I'm just going to improvise. So I've taken a strip of paper and I've applied glue and I folded it up to make a little lift, you would say, I suppose, for the star. And then I want to stick that down. So it's slightly higher than the one in the background. For the smallest star, I have a little piece of foam, which I'm just going to cut a piece of and then stick that down in the same way. I'm now also going to add a sentiment. It says make a wish, which I think is pretty fitting for this. I'm choosing the white with the back writing and I'm just going to place it sort of in the center, but over one of the stars. I'm just going to trim around it or border around it with some black fine liner difficult to see in the video but it does sort of make it stand out a little bit more. I'm also going to use the black fine liner to make a thin frame around the entire card. Very rough, don't want straight lines, you want it to look hand drawn and I'm doing that around the entire edge. 
I felt that it needed a little bit more of a lighter tone. So I cut a small star in a light purple or a lilac color. I'm doing a black frame around this one and I'm going to pop it just underneath on the left between the black stars. And I think this will just lift the entire look and make it all a little bit lighter. I really hope you enjoyed watching my video for this card number 20. I hope you were inspired to create your own and maybe join in the challenge if you haven't joined already. I would also love if you subscribed to my channel. As you know, it's the home of the Full Deck Challenge. I also have tutorials on art journaling, junk journaling, mixed media and how to make your own ephemera. When you subscribe, also hit the little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.